Have you ever stumbled upon The Cosby Show while flipping through channels? Whether it was your first time seeing it or a show you always enjoy, there's something special about this classic TV series. From its humor to its realistic moments, there's a lot to talk about. One question you might think about is which character you like the most? Maybe you really like Cliff Huxtable's jokes, or maybe you admire Claire's serious attitude. With so many different characters, everyone has their favorite. But beyond the funny and serious parts of the show, there are a lot of memories and personal experiences connected to it. Maybe it reminds you of family nights watching TV together or makes you think of a simpler time. We'd love to hear your stories and thoughts in the comments below. So whether you watch for the laughs, the surprises, or the touching moments, keep watching for more interesting facts about The Cosby Show. And don't forget to share your own experiences with us. In the exciting world of 1980s TV, a special show emerged that really caught people's attention. The Cosby Show was not like the others. It featured a wealthy black family called the Huxtables, led by Dr. Heathcliff Huxtable, played by Bill Cosby. This show stood out because it showed a successful black family dealing with everyday life. What made The Cosby Show special wasn't just that it was fun to watch, but also how it affected society. It broke stereotypes and had a lot of different characters like the career-focused lawyer Claire Huxtable and the playful but lovable Theo Huxtable. Through its funny and heartwarming moments, the show connected with people from all backgrounds. It got people talking about race, families, and what's normal in society. The Cosby Show wasn't just any old show, it was really important. It paved the way for more diverse TV shows and inspired lots of future ones. Its influence went beyond just entertainment, leaving a big impact that people still love today. To sum up, The Cosby Show wasn't just a TV series. It was a groundbreaking cultural moment that changed how people saw things and still means a lot today. The Cosby Show's fifth season featured a rendition by the Oregon Symphony Orchestra conducted by James DePriest, an African-American conductor. DePriest, who conducted the orchestra from 1980 to 2000, was asked by Bill Cosby to compose a new theme arrangement. Interestingly, DePriest was not only a nephew of opera singer Marian Anderson, but also a high school friend of Cosby. Felicia Rashad, portraying Claire Huxtable, is 10 years older than Sabrina LaBeouf, who plays Sandra Huxtable. In the show, Pam is depicted as a high school student, while Theo and Vanessa are in college. In real life, Erica Alexander, who plays Pam, is one year older than Malcolm Jamal Warner and four years older than Tempest Bledsoe, who portray Theo and Vanessa, respectively. The Cosby Show debuted in 1984, quickly becoming a household favorite. Created by Bill Cosby, the series showcased various aspects of family life, resonating with audiences across generations. One notable element of Cosby's career is his academic achievement. In 1976, he earned an honorary doctorate in education from the University of Massachusetts at Amherst. His dissertation focused on integrating visual media into the elementary school curriculum using his earlier work, Fat Albert, and the Cosby Kids as a teaching tool. During its early years, The Cosby Show gained popularity among younger viewers, particularly for Rudy, one of the Cosby children. In fact, some fans affectionately dubbed the show The Rudy Show due to her popularity. The Cosby family also faced challenges such as dyslexia, which affected several members. While Bill Cosby himself didn't inherit it, his brother Russell did, discovering it in adulthood. Additionally, Cosby's son Ennis struggled with dyslexia, but managed to overcome it, eventually graduating from college. Overall, The Cosby Show not only entertained audiences, but also tackled real-life issues, making it a beloved and influential series in television history. In later seasons, he wore a black button with the initials SDGR as a tribute to his close friend Sammy Davis Jr., who died during the show's run. He was given an honorary Chief Petty Officer title by the Navy in 2011, but it was taken away because of serious accusations of sexual abuse that went against Navy values. He joined the Navy in 1956 and worked as a hospital corpsman for four years before leaving with an honorable discharge as a third-class petty officer in 1960. Additionally, he stepped down from his position on Temple University's Board of Trustees in December 2014. He often improvised his lines, especially during solo scenes as Cliff. The Cosby Show, a popular TV series from the 1980s, showcased various interesting facts throughout its run. In the early seasons, Theo, one of the Huxtable children, had a poster of the British pop group Five Star on the back of his closet door. 
Interestingly, Five Star comprises siblings, much like the Huxtable children themselves. The exterior shots of the Huxtable's house were filmed at 10 St. Luke's Place in Manhattan, although the show is set in Brooklyn. This slight geographical discrepancy went unnoticed by many viewers. Another intriguing aspect of the series is the character Kenny's brother, who was often mentioned but never shown on screen. This subtle detail added depth to the storyline, leaving viewers curious about Kenny's unseen sibling. These facts add layers to the already rich narrative of The Cosby Show, offering viewers insights into the characters' lives and backgrounds without being explicitly stated in the dialogue or plot. The Cosby Show, which aired in 1984, depicted the lives of the Huxtable family. The show was set in the fictional town of Hillman, likely inspired by Howard University. Bill Cosby, known for his role as Cliff Huxtable, attended Temple University in Philadelphia, not far from the Hillman Medical Center at the University of Pittsburgh. In June 2021, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court overturned Bill Cosby's 2018 conviction for indecent sexual assault against Andrea Constant. The court cited violations of his constitutional rights leading to his release from prison. Despite his acclaimed performance, Cosby never pursued Emmy nominations for his acting. He personally opposed competition among performers. The Cosby Show, despite its controversies, remains a significant part of television history. The Cosby Show, known for its run from 1984 to 1992, featured various noteworthy elements. One such detail revolves around Denise's fondness for tulips. In the series finale, and so we commence, broadcast during the 1992 L.A. riots, Bill Cosby, in a poignant moment, urges for an end to the violence plaguing the streets. Despite Cosby's emphasis on education, his personal educational journey contrasts sharply. Unlike his character's advice, Cosby didn't excel academically, dropping out of high school at 15 to follow his father's footsteps into the military. This dissonance highlights the disparity between Cosby's on-screen persona and his real-life experiences, adding depth to his character portrayal. In the mid-1980s, The Cosby Show, a popular TV series, stood out for various reasons. In its early episodes, a character named Theo wanted to buy an expensive shirt designed by Gordon Gartrell. Surprisingly, the real Gordon Gartrell had different roles in the show and eventually became a producer later on. At its peak, the show's creator, Bill Cosby, pushed for a spin-off series called A Different World to air right after The Cosby Show instead of Family Ties. He wanted better portrayals of African Americans on TV, leading to this change. However, it caused a 20% drop in viewers for The Cosby Show and contributed to the decline of Family Ties, which got canceled in 1989. In 2013, Bill Cosby had a televised concert called Bill Cosby Far From Finished, which included TV commercials. These details shed light on interesting aspects of the show and its influence on TV.